There are some of the world's most striking landscapes on the nation's western coast. Some of these fjords, which are over a kilometer deep and span 200 kilometers inland, were carved by glaciers over millions of years. The current complicated route that winds through and around this terrain is the one 100 kilometer, 683 mile, E39 highway in Norway, a road that takes 21 hours to complete the trip. The Norwegian government is currently launching the biggest infrastructure project in the country's history in an effort to increase access to services, housing, and the labor market throughout the western areas of the country. Norway's E39 highway connects Trondheim in the north with Kristiansand in the deep south of the nation. The path makes its way through the fjord. Network, which has seven ferry connections in all. The new coastal highway project will construct a network of bridges and tunnels over, under, and beneath the terrain in an effort to completely eliminate the requirement for ferry services, since many of the fjords throughout the route are too deep or wide for traditional infrastructure to traverse. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration is looking into creative alternatives. The first of several bridges that will connect Stavanger to the E39 is Rogfast and Haugesund over a 16-mile, 27-kilometer underwater tunnel. This construction will be the world's longest and deepest underwater road tunnel, reaching a maximum depth of 390 meters below sea level. In actuality, the Rogfast project will consist of two tunnels with emergency exits connected every 250 meters. In addition to telephone booths and security cameras installed along the route, each tunnel will feature a lay-by spaced 500 meters apart. The tunnel is going to furthermore have a mid-route crossover that connects the island to the Norwegian mainland and forms an underwater tunnel junction with the island municipality of Kvitsund. Soy. This project's component is expected to be finished by 2026 at a cost of USD $2 billion, with work having started in 2018. Even though the ROGFAST project is already underway, the project team is facing extremely difficult engineering hurdles due to the size of several other fjords. Situated south of Bergen, the Bjorna Fjord is 5 kilometers broad and descends to a depth of 600 meters. A floating bridge that is anchored to the land at both ends has been proposed as a solution to this difficult waterway. Two options have been proposed for the Sulla Fjord crossing. The initial design is for a suspension bridge with three towers. The third center tower is anchored to the seafloor, about 400 meters below the water's surface, and the other two towers have anchors on land. Another plan for a submerged flying tunnel would use two connected tubes that are positioned side by side and fastened to the ocean floor using strong cables. Similar to the Rogfast project, a 16-kilometer underwater tunnel from Alasund to Midsund will be needed to cross the Romsdalsfjord. A 2-kilometer elevated walkway will then link to Molda. The road crossing at Sognefjord, also referred to as the King of the Fjords, is by far the most intricate and ambitious of all the coastline crossings. The biggest and deepest fjord in Norway is more than 3.7 kilometers long and 1.3 kilometers underground at its lowest point, which is astounding. The large number of ships that frequently approach the fjord must also be taken into consideration by engineers, even if these great distances present unique difficulties. Any crossing must provide room for a shipping lane that is at least 400 meters wide, with at least 20 meters of depth and 70 meters of clearance above the water surface. The project team is thinking of a lot of alternative ways to cross this fjord in order to accomplish this. A conventional suspension bridge is the first. Such a structure would need support because its passage would be 3,700 meters long, about twice as long as the longest bridge in the world at the moment, stands at least 450 meters high, vastly surpassing the 343 meter tall Milau Viaduct in France to hold the title of highest bridge construction in the world. 
Another option being examined is a floating bridge, but this arrangement would have to raise to permit ships to cross and to accomplish such a feature in a bridge that is simply fixed to each shoreline present significant engineering difficulties that have not yet been solved. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world's most incredible engineering marvels. Another idea that is comparable to the one at Sulafjord is the submerged floating tunnel. The deep Sognafjord would make this concept a little different from its cousin. The tubes would be suspended on floating pontoons that would allow ships to pass overhead rather than being anchored to the bottom. An idea that is a hybrid is combining a floating pontoon bridge with a section of a subterranean floating tunnel that permits ships to pass is another idea under consideration. Integrating the two floating buildings in this way would result in the world's first example of a fixed bridge transferring into a fixed tunnel. Although this is not a typical solution in waterways with high transport traffic, such as the link between Denmark and Sweden and the extensive Hong Kong to Macau crossing. Despite its grandeur, the coastal highway project hasn't been without controversy. Concerns over its environmental impact, particularly on fragile marine ecosystems and wildlife habitats, have been raised. Even though the project is expected to have socio-economic benefits, it is imperative that its environmental impact be reduced. Eco-friendly building techniques and wildlife corridors are two examples of good design that can reduce damage to the environment. Moving points on a map isn't the only thing the coastal highway does. It's about raising the standard of living for people who live along the coast and promoting economic growth. Communities along the corridor stand to gain considerably from better access to markets and services. The coastal highway represents hope for our community. It opens up opportunities for tourism, trade, and employment, breathing new life into our coastal towns. As Norway embarks on this monumental project, balancing progress with environmental stewardship remains paramount. The coastal highway symbolizes more than just asphalt and steel. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring bond between land and sea. Lastly, a multi-span cable-stayed bridge idea is being examined. This building would resemble an oil rig with four floating pylons attached to the seafloor. With the highest priority being given to safety and environmental concerns, Norway's massive coastal highway project is expected to set a new standard for engineering prowess and serve as a template for other infrastructure projects globally. And remember, if you enjoyed this exploration of Norway's coastal highway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Your support helps us bring you more fascinating insights into the world's most incredible engineering marvels. So hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest adventures. Thanks for watching.